The following contest is a handicap match. Making her way to the ring from Lincoln, Nebraska, The Professional. Quite a unique match here, guys, as we're looking at a three-on-one affair coming up next. Yeah, and in the case of the one, you have to give points for bravery, though not so much for smarts. Now time, guys, for our three-on-one handicap match. And if you like an underdog story, you're going to love this. Well, at least until the bell rings anyway. After that, it's going to be a complete massacre. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with a huge oh, wow. handicap match. The numbers oh. game here just isn't fair, Cole. I mean, even Saxton can see that. Damn it. This might be it. Oh, my. She's looking at it. She's almost out of it. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. That's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all. She might have it. Ooh, what in? 
impact. She's got a chance to win it here. Look out! Drop kick! Takes her down. Wow, nice move right there. She got her with a reversal. And it's reversed. She's able to get out of the way there. And the slam. She's not in very good shape at all right now. I don't know how much more punishment she can take here in this handicap match. I think this one's over. Harsh impact. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big backdrop. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Here we go. We're looking at complete domination here. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Beautiful technique. Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Look at her go. She's looking at it. A side slam. She can pick up the win here, guys. And she's toying with her now. All right, pump handle. Pump handle comes. Slam with authority. And there it is, boys. Cover here. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan, Braun Strowman, absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. But we saw that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. Boom, what impact! Oh, and a snap there! That'll give you whiplash. Breaker. Right to the spine. No, she's too quick for her. She's got her where she wants her. Look out. She could be done. Incoming. Two. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. <laughs> How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish it! If she's not careful, she's going to end up on the wrong end of this handicap match. This match is clearly going to end sooner rather than later. And unfortunately for her, she's not going to like the result. Oof! She is on fire! Suplex! Ooh! Things starting to go the other way for her. You better be careful. Handicap matches have a way of getting out of control quickly. Yeah, but I doubt this is her undoing. She still seems to have plenty of fight left in her. 
A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time, where one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. Oh, come on. Don't have it end like this. That's what makes a handicap match one of the most unpredictable in WWE. Look at her go. That's a woman on a mission. This was another great moment. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here are your winners, Alex, Sam, Beautiful, and The Agent. The rep had no choice here but to 